We have breaking news out of the Middle East, friends. Israel has launched its retaliatory strike against Iran. Explosions heard in Iran. We're going to talk about that. Also, we have the FBI investigating uh, the Baltimore Harbor crew that uh, was crewing the ship that hit the, uh, the Baltimore Bridge. We have a Dollar Tree uh, assistant manager. It's going to spill the beans for us on what's happening at Dollar Tree. Also, we have reports of food shortages and empty shelves from you guys from all over. Let's jump into it. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade. And these are your updates. These are your reports uh, on what you guys are seeing at your workplaces, uh, at your stores, all over the place, sharing information with each other to keep us at the cutting edge of being informed. Before we dive in, we do want to thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold Group. They do a fantastic job helping people get out of stocks and bonds and over into something better, which is gold, silver, or platinum. Uh, if you want to secure your retirement savings into something safe, uh, you might want to talk to Jonathan and his team. A lot of you have, and they have, a, and they just do a fantastic job. They don't pressure you. They inform you, answer your questions. If you'd like to talk with them or get some more information, there'll be a link at the end of the video. All right, so Israel has launched drone attacks against Iran. Uh, this is against Iranian bases uh, inside Iran. Uh, no word yet on the targets that were attacked, uh, but explosions were heard at an air base south of Tehran, uh, the capital city of Iran. Uh, now, Iran has released a statement saying this, All that happened is a failed and humiliating attempt by Israeli aviation. Uh, Iran is claiming that all of the explosions heard were actually interceptions in the air. Uh, no word from uh, Iran or on Twitter or anything like that of ground explosions. Uh, so it is possible that all of the drones that were sent into Iran uh, were intercepted. Now, uh, the oil market and the financial markets out there are chalking this up as a toothless attack, uh, retaliatory attack by Israel. Uh, so markets are actually returning back to normal oil prices, uh, <coughs> excuse me, returning back to normal as well. And, uh, with the hope that things are going to calm down. Now, Iran has promised, even though the, uh, apparently the drones were intercepted, that they are promising a retaliatory strike against, uh, Israeli nuclear facilities. Uh, so that is a, a big deal there. Uh, they're promising to attack Israel proper again, uh, and they're going to actually be targeting nuclear facilities. Last time, they were targeting uh, air bases, apparently, uh, as best we can tell. Now, there were also simultaneous explosions in Syria and Iraq. Now, this is all just happening just a few hours ago. Uh, Southern Gent uh, says, update. And if you do want to send in an update, uh, please make sure you use the word update in your comment uh, on this video or any video and give us some sort of geographical location uh, if you're sharing with us uh, shortages and such. Uh, he uh, reports, the FBI has opened a criminal investigation into the Baltimore Bridge incident. The Baltimore field office served uh, subpoenas and boarded the Dolly. Uh, that's the ship that, uh, that hit the bridge, right? Uh, so they're investigating uh, criminal negligence right now. Uh, so we're not, they're not looking at, uh, reportedly, uh, intentionally at attacking the bridge like a terrorism incident. But what they are looking at is that uh, apparently the crew uh, should have known better than to pull out a port uh, with a ship that was not functioning properly. So... Uh, that's what's being investigated right now, but uh, that's all we're hearing about, at least at this point. So they're looking at maintenance records, they're looking at who knew what, when, and whether they should have pulled out of the port. So uh, apparently the FBI is looking at this from that perspective. Uh, so we will keep an eye on that investigation. Of course, with the uh, incident with the uh, ship in New York City Harbor, that is looking more and more like this was either uh, some sort of intentional attack uh, by someone sabotaging the ships or uh, by uh, hackers or something along those lines. Um, Old Stoner says, update, I heard, I overheard two employees say that uh, at Walmart that they had been instructed by corporate 
uh, to not remove expired products or to reduce their prices. They are to just straight sell it. Is anyone else hearing that uh, out there as well? Uh, if that's if that's true, you better watch your products at uh, Walmart all the more uh, for expired products, especially produce. Stephanie says, my husband works at a VA. He is told by higher ups that he is not allowed to prescribe certain medications. That's not good, uh, likely because they are so expensive. However, they won't be honest with the veterans about uh, what they will and will not prescribe, will, will be allowed to prescribe. Also, it's not officially on record. His clinic is working with a skeleton staff. They are supposed to have several therapists, nurses, and at least three doctors. The last therapist just quit, and their uh, one nurse is part-time because she actually works in the military and is just trying to fill in the gap. There is only one doctor in his field. Uh, they had several people they were about to hire in the upcoming months. However, he was just told that their job offers were rescinded and gaps will no longer be filled. The funding for the VA and likely all government programs has been depleted, and these funds are being used to support the massive influx of others, our new visitors from the South, right? And we're hearing this across the board that it looks like uh, the Biden administration is pillaging the VA in order to uh, get resources in order to give to the others that have come and visited us. That is, I can't even say how infuriating that is. And I know, I know for a lot of you that it is the same way. Uh, West Virginia Digging Roots says uh, West Virginia DMV is down. Listening to uh, Scanner all the time, police scanner, right? Uh, it's been down all day. Marion County, uh, West Virginia. CFK says from uh, California, uh, Dollar, Dollar Tree assistant manager. My store is uh, in the last two days of a remodel to becoming a Dollar Tree Plus uh, and also multi-price. So I will have uh, merch from 75 cents to seven dollars. Uh, you're probably hearing uh, that we're closing 1,000 stores, but that's just uh, bad locations. We're reopening 600 new Dollar Tree Pluses. Now, um, that 1,000 stores was uh, supposed to be actually, um, was it Family Dollar? Whatever the one is owned by the same parent company. Uh, I think it was like 400 of those this year were supposed to actually be the Family Dollar uh, shutting down. And 600 of them were supposed to be uh, Dollar Trees. Now, of course, the numbers keep changing, uh, but uh, uh, they're also looking at shutting down some of the stores next year. Uh, but now we're hearing about uh, renovations to uh, 600 uh, locations being turned into Dollar Tree Pluses. Um, so uh, we will keep an eye on what's going on with that. Uh, but a lot of you guys have reported that Dollar Trees have shut down completely uh, in your area. Uh, Roger says, I was out uh, to our local pick and save this weekend and noticed a lot of shortages in their uh, fresh produce and what they had looked really bad. Right off, I saw that they were totally out of avocados and pineapples. Now, this is not a discount store. This is a regular grocery store, right? Uh, one of their big grocery stores locally. Other produce was low as well. Moving on around... Uh, there were shortages in the meat section too. There were no cubed steaks and the pork chops were much more fatty than usual. The bologna section was low and there were uh, no little smokies to be found. The pick and save is the largest grocer, really the only one we have here in the belt buckle of Tennessee and shelves are looking awfully low. Um, tactical mat. B um, Birmingham, Alabama, metro area. Carefully watch any hospital billing, uh, both um, inpatient and out of patient, uh, outpatient. Uh, they're not sending claims correctly. Then they're attempting to bill the patients uh, for the full amount. 
and threatening to turn the bill over to collections if you don't pay immediately. This just happened to me uh, to, due to a hospital stay in June 2023. I only received the bill in December of 2023 for that visit. This is the second time I've dealt with this uh, kind of issue from the same hospital chain. The first time uh, was for physical therapy uh, where they wouldn't take a deductible at the time of service for multiple visits. Uh, then sent me a bill three years later for $1,000. Nothing else on the bill explaining the breakdown charges, just $1,000. So please do keep uh, track of your medical bills uh, because crazy things are happening all over the place, of course. Mama Prepper says, I live in Eastern North Carolina and uh, went to our Walmart last night. Sugar was almost completely empty, uh, four and 10 pound bags, uh, literally about 10 left. Great value oil looked uh, hor horrible too, uh, with 75% missing. No great value white vinegar at all, and beans and rice section looked full, but it was space was uh, condensed uh, to, half, to half the size it had been. Madam K uh, shares with us Northeast Wisconsin. Festival foods only have a small one pound bag of rices, uh, rice, uh, no five or 20 pound bags. So we're hearing that um, in Northeast Wisconsin as well as Eastern North Carolina, very similar things there. Uh, that is uh, Northeast Wisconsin for the last two weeks. Beans are the same. I, uh, I bought the last two five pound bags of pinto beans. Pizza sausage uh, is now the uh, size of a pea on Roma pizza. It had uh, six pieces of pepperoni and five pea sized sausages, uh, three for 10. I had uh, to add pepperoni and cheese, Walgreens, um, no vitamin K2 and D3 and zinc. Re reminder to everyone to plant a garden. And then let's skip over to the UK, uh, Wales. Uh, Nisano says, uh, hello, Steve. I live in rural mid Wales in the UK and our Tesco store uh, shut down uh, due, uh, due to the tills not working. Customers had to leave their shopping um, and vacate the store as well as the Tesco garage opposite. Uh, staff had, have speculated it was a computer hack, yet a spokesperson for Tesco said it was merely a technical problem. Hmm, it does sound suspicious. Uh, not sure it's, if it's fixed yet um, today. And so um, uh, we have heard about Tesco hacks, but that was uh, weeks ago. So if we're seeing another round of hacks, that is uh, a serious problem there too. And we're seeing that across the board. Like DMVs across the United States were hacked and then, then they seem to be getting hacked again. Uh, we've seen 911 systems, uh, sorry, <laughs> 911 systems down, and then we've seen them go down again and again and again. Uh, in some places, the, the uh, 911 systems have been down four or five times just recently uh, this year. And what is happening with these things? Because um, we're seeing that these hacks are reoccurring again and again. It seems like the security breaches are not being filled. It seems like the, uh, the security vulnerabilities still exist. And that is um, quite problematic if the hackers have gotten access to administrative rights and uh, they're not being fully booted out of the system. Um, that is, they're continuing to have back doors to go into the computer systems again and again, and they're either selling or sharing that information with other hackers or just reusing it themselves. So we have Change Healthcare uh, was hacked once and then it was hacked again. Uh, we're, we're seeing this is a pattern, folks. Uh, the vulnerabilities in our systems and in our stores and uh, websites that we're seeing out there are being repeated over and over again. So uh, these hacks are probably going to get much worse as time goes on because uh, we're being told that they are being done by state actors. These are countries, hackers that are on payroll, hacking uh, United States companies and European companies, 
And if it's a country doing it, and yet there's never any consequences for it, what's the reason why they would stop? Why would the Chinese hackers, the Russian hackers, stop doing it when they're getting away with it, right? Uh, they're causing a lot of damage. They're extracting millions of dollars. Change Healthcare apparently paid a $22 million ransom. Why wouldn't they keep doing this, right? That's the question. All right, friends, please do keep your reports coming in. If you want to get some more information from Genesis Gold about what you can do with your retirement account, there's a link right there on the screen. If you want to check out another video, video from this channel, there's one right up there. Thanks so much for watching. Steve Poplar of The Poplar Report, out.